Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hair, hairstyle is <laughs> out the door. Just forget it, Bjorn. It doesn't matter <laughs> how much you try. It's all the same in the end. <laughs> Number 23. Man, it feels like I just switched to season 5 and I'm already a month in. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's easily a month with weekends, which I don't. Um, I don't do warm ups. So. Hey, Zelin, how's it going? Dr. Sheldon, how are you? How are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Atsuki. Good morning. A fantastic good morning to you. Thank you very much for the support. Hey, Captain Boss, good Friday indeed. How are you? Earlier, <laughs> I was sitting sitting here earlier today, and this, this thought came over me, and uh, the thought was like, oh, I've missed my talk in Berlin. And for a second, I got this gut feeling, you know, of, you've that you've messed up i was like oh I was like, wait it's in a month from now and i was like ah oh, okay <laughs> but in my mind i had like co completely forgotten to go uh, you know stood the people up i got that rock in the stomach feeling you know so stupid Storyboarding is hard, it is. Um, one of my favorite storyboard artists ever is uh, Dan Milligan, I must say. Uh, he's really, really good. Hey, Cosmoverse, how's it going? So, any uh, topic suggestions? I'm all ears. I'm eager to, to draw something strange. Um, I, um, I quite enjoyed Lasso Tool yesterday. I think... I think it's something I gotta start using more, actually. It's a really useful edge control thing. I don't really use lasso tool or lasso. Crystallizing flower. Oh, pretty, pretty topic. Crystallizing flower. That could be a very interesting painting. Argumenting goblin. Captain Boss, you gotta get it today. Giant Psycho Clown. That's a, that's a fascinating topic. You're an exclusive theme guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good though. You know, you shouldn't give up. You'll get it one day. It's like the Man Bear Pig. Uh, Man Bear topic. That was always. Cosmic Beast. Herald of the Jawfish. Wow. You guys are really getting some good ideas out there today. Okay, let's switch that off. Chrome is on. And um, let's just roll that dice. Which is number five, which is not uh, boss, unfortunately. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five. Cosmic Beast by Cosmoverse. Cosmoverse again? It's rigged. Clearly rigged. Alright. 
Cosmic Beast. Cosmic Beast. Hmm. Well, I got one idea, but it's like classic. Like a god entity with stars in it. Um, I don't like that idea. I'm going to flip flip the switch a bit. Oh, you're not seeing Photoshop. Smart guy. Hey, Morphia. How's it going? So, go away. So, what I will do is I'm going to draw a space alien creature monster. Um, as, as the word is beast, um, I'm just going to make a very scary, um, scary looking space monster. Uh, Captain Bose, the topic is down there and it's cosmic beast. <laughs> Captain Bose. You're not getting your topic, man. It's sad. You gotta keep trying. You gotta keep trying, man. You will get it. I want to draw argument, argumenting goblins. It's a fun topic. But, I mean, I can't cheat, you know. It has to be by the book. If it's not the, the, what the dice says, dice is the law, you know. I can't not follow the law, you know. The dice is just the boss of me. Yeah, Cosmo, obviously, I mean, Cosmo is paying me, <clears throat> by the way. It's, um, it's 10, 10 euros a dice roll. And what, what you guys don't know is that Cosmo, Cosmoverse pays me uh, 10 uh, 10 euro per dice roll and the topic is client work right so Cosmoverse is like 10 euros for me to sketch the client work 10 euro for 30 minutes that's 20 20 euros an hour it's, I mean it's not that fantastic Yeah, everyone should should say Cosmo uh, Bose's uh, topic on on Tuesday because on Monday it's uh, exactly. Uh, have you drawn any um, any have any one of you drawn anything cool this week? Anything you wanna? What's that like? What's the highlight of this week in terms of art for you? Have you drawn anything that you can share? I'd love to see. I was thinking, let's do some community thing things on Friday. Let's share what we've been working on, or work in progress, or finished pieces. What do you want to share? Please share. I want to be inspired. I want to see something cool. It's so easy to forget, um, you know, if you don't share it, it's so easy that you're you're caught up in your world, and some people might not, uh, you know, might not have the chance to see what you've created. And maybe you've created something that really like connects with them. You know, who knows? I think that's the beauty of it. <laughs> Show your fails. I mean, if you want. I mean, you could show your... Oh, come on. Why is it doing this now lately? So annoying. 
you've never done this before and why are you starting to do it? I mean, if you want to show your week, your week's worst picture, you can do that too. You can um, shit on it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's awful use of color. <laughs> it's really bad anatomy. Yeah, I agree. It's one of your worst. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't mind it. I can, I can deal with negative comments, but uh, it's not always easy. Uh, everyone is not the same, you know. So maybe, maybe that that's the like the straw that broke the camel's back eventually you know you hear that the, the one word you didn't want to hear and you heard it and then the you know the whole the whole day is ruined we don't want to do that you know But maybe it's better to, for a change, stick to presenting something that you're proud of, rather than doing the same that you and your inner critic are bashing. Yeah. Yeah. But I think in general, though, I think what would be great um, is, is the feedback aspect of it. Maybe we should um, have every Friday we have... Um, we do uh, show show us what you uh, the, like what you've done recently, and then um, you give like two good and two bad comments about each work. You know what what you think really works well. You know two two good things, and then two bad things that you don't think works well, and um, justify it you know like not just say oh the colors are bad but you say the colors are bad uh, because how they're being implemented you know like wrong wrong shade of green or morphia yeah free feedback friday i think that will be cool I think that's a good, um, because in that sense also, um, you also know that on Friday, if you push your paintings and uh, we'll look at it, you know, there's a, there's a purpose to, to have something done by Friday. I think that's a, that could be a great idea, actually. I think that would be fun to see also, uh, you know, what you've been doing and then it would also be some sort of con, um, co cons uh, not consistency but coherency when if someone gets feedback and then the next Friday there is an update, you know. I think that would be great. How about we do? Um, how about we do it like this? Uh, depending on how many submit their art, obviously. Uh, but let's do it like we do the topics, right? At the beginning, um, you have to have the image ready, like on Discord. Um, you could do it like uh, ff hashtag ff on uh, Discord with the image on Fridays, you know. 
and we do the dice roll to who's in the chat who 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 types ff and then we take it one to six you know the dice roll and then we see who gets to be the the subject of the friday you know and then we then we look at the image that that person um, submitted and we we give feedback um, I'll I will give feedback while doing the warm-up so I will look at the image and with words uh, talk about what I think is good and what is bad and others can type it on discord or in the chat I think that will be a I think that will be a cool cool thing to do would that be too complicated or what do you think I think it would be nice I think it would be not too overly complicated that you do it for people instead of topics or I mean we don't need to do the dice thing we could just go one by one depending on how many uh, submit their art obviously if it's 50 then we won't have time to do that in half an hour but I doubt there will be 50 maybe it's just we do go one by one I think that might be better because I, I suspect it's not going to be that many so we could do all of them actually so it could be the post whatever you want to show um, it would probably be easier like post with a hashtag FF on Discord um, before Friday stream and I'll just go through them all on on the stream I think that would probably be better I won't be able to do paint overs but I, I will be able to to uh, comment uh, like good and bad things and then obviously other people are free to on on that day go wild <laughs> too good too bad uh, to the people who hashtagged uh, FF I think that would be cool I like that I like that I think that should would be a good feature to add um, that every Friday we do that Feedback Friday. I like I like the the, <laughs> the idea of of whatever this warm up is that is it's my baby um, and that I can change it <laughs> I can change it to whatever I want uh, but also but also more importantly what whatever you might want as long as it's, it's valid, uh, you know, within within what I can do uh, before having to go back to work uh, while still trying to get some sketching done. It's really, it's a very neat, interesting thing. I mean, it's a really hard hard thing to pinpoint whatever this stream is you know in a way you tr you tr you always try to uh, make it um, to something interesting you know 
uh, and also try to make it like a product, right? And it's really fascinating to me because you can't really put your finger on on what it is. You know, the, the, war, the warm up is this strange. Um, <laughs> dynamic entity that is that is just something that that changes i mean over the over the these uh, now 5 years i mean how many different things haven't i tried um, <laughs> and changed and and did other things and, but in the end it's still the it's still the same somehow it's still kind of morphed into this whatever this is today and that's also one of the, the for me like I, I mentioned that's one of the hard things that I personally uh, have a problem with is to to see myself from the outside you know uh, what's it called unbiased no objective 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 um, Or, or neutral because I I can't see the whatever this is from your point of view you know I get I only have my in my mind what what the warm-up stream is and the whole platform you know like twitch and it's so so weird to see other people do this twitch thing um, and it's like TV channels most of the time and a lot of other times it's more like you peek into a, a cafe and, and and observe what some people are doing on the cafe and then and then some of these twitch channels are like a big big tv show production you know with with everything that you might expect from a tv show you know Hey Kirill, how's it going? And it's really for me, it's really hard to even. Um, in a way, it's really hard to figure, try to figure out where to go with it all, or what should I change, and or wh what what's the purpose of it. I mean, some mornings, uh, not a, a lot of them, but some mornings are you know like, what's the purpose? You know, why even bother? Like why even? What what's the end goal? You know. But then I then I realize that, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be a end goal to everything. It, you know, it's also sometimes it's okay to do something fun, just for the sake of fun. You know, instead of not everything needs to make money or 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 be this high high purpose high purpose thing right sometimes it's just fun for the sake of doing it but you all then you also think like okay what's the purpose of this stream if i'm i've been doing it for five years you know why am i still why am i still doing the warm-up and i think one of the reasons why i still do the warm-up is because of you You know the the whole idea of of it all is to it's the community. It's the, it's not like a very interesting community thing because there isn't really forums anymore in that sense. Everyone is so spread out over internet. There is no 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 familiar grounds and I, I guess this uh, this is a great way of of keeping in contact with other people and see their progress and hear their thoughts and see their changes I think that's one of the coolest things Kirill so you're still on the job job hunt oh man that's crazy I mean 
you should, I mean, it, mobile games, they, there is a lot of mobile game studios with a lot of money. Surely that you should be able to get some mobile game um, jobs. And I'm not meaning like make, make a, um, stupid um, flower beds for hyper casual games. Uh, who needs that? You know, no one. I mean, some people do that, but I'm assuming you want to do a little bit more cooler stuff, you know, like dragons and demons and robots or whatever. But there's still a lot of mobile game studios that do that and that need that art or need those freelancers to provide them with concept art. Maybe look into. Um, Kirill, maybe look into VR companies that that are making VR games and check like uh, Kama Sutra or something. Game Sutra, sorry. <laughs> Game Sutra um, for job listings and, and uh, news about newly started VR companies because they always need art, right? And they always need to. Uh, they always have money to some degree because they are, um, they get uh, seed money from bigger companies usually. <laughs> One bulletproof game sutra? No, as in not. Not in homosexual, but as in game, video game, so Game Sutra. It's a website. Oh, is your birthday, Kirill? Wow, that deserves a special surprise. A Swedish celebration song. Here we go. Ja mo haleva, ja mo haleva, ja mo haleva ut i hundrade år. Ja, vi ska du leva, ja, vi ska du leva, ja, vi ska du leva ut i hundrade år, Kirill. Happy birthday. It was yesterday. Uh, Captain Boss, uh, Game of Sutra, it's a website for video game news and job listings and articles. And Bulletproof wrote Kappa Gamer Sutra, as in homosexual, but no. Cosmoverse, so that's cool, that's cool. Captain Bose, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, look at the community reaching out helping each other that's fantastic that is fantastic oh yeah but kirill you shouldn't you should internationally look for work because freelance is the one of the easiest way ways to make money you don't need to relocate you just need to get in touch with studios that will pay you for remote work do it. <laughs> Apply for international companies for freelance work. And not in-house work, but freelance work. It's the easiest, cleanest way to get money in the, and get experience. Because if they're going to relocate you, that's a lot of money from their end. And then, oh, it won't work out, so we won't be able to uh, have you full-time. And then there's all these things that you need to do. And... Or, or just throw some money at you to, to for some art. You definitely need to uh, 
um, do freelance. And then you can get experience and then you can, uh, you know, one thing to leads to the other. But that's the best way to do it. And you can even, uh, you know, if you really want to work with them, uh, do some research about uh, rates, you know, how much they should pay you. Um, and don't have the highest rate, but have a decent rate uh, that will make you uh, have food and pay bills and so on but not like swimming in money to start with and then when you when for example when you find a connection with a client and you it's a returning client ev then you can slowly increase uh, the rate you know saying oh we've done business for a year now uh, my rate is going to go up a little bit because i you know Kirill, really? Ah, it should it should be the other way around. You should really freelance, um, like if you need experience and money. If you want the uh, comfort of of a full time employment, yeah, that's a little bit different. Um, obviously, freelance isn't that because it's contract to contract, so it's a lot more uh, scary. Uh, but if you have the ability to freelance and live on the freelance money without the, like, the safety net of a full-time employment, uh, but still make money on freelance and do that kind of hustle, as it could it can be very very beneficial. A lot of people do it, and it's absolutely fine to to do it that way. You just need to be proactive in clients and uh, make sure you have money saved when you do get work in that you can lean on if all of a sudden there isn't a client. Hello, Eriki Riki, how's it going? What's up? But yeah, freelance? It can be really, really useful because, first of all, because you, in, technically, you are a, a movable part. You're not going to be a part of the like solid foundation of a company. You can easily be used at times when they need you instead of like having you on a retainer constantly. And then you just have a few of those clients that will constantly come back to you, and then you're golden. Like I, over the years, I have returning uh, clients constantly. They they come back whenever they need something. They check like, hey, are you available? Yep. All right, let's go. And they 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 don't need any like honeymoon period or anything. They don't need we don't need to get accustomed to each other. They can just drop it in my lap and go do your stuff, and I will be right. All right, cool. <laughs> I'll get back to you, and then. I'll I'll give them the stuff I've done and they're happy. And and you can't do that at like the very beginning of a freelancing relationship. But as soon as you you do the job that you need to do on time and professionally and over uh, most of the time, if you over um, deliver, uh, you give them some extra. You show that you care. Uh, they will obviously not notice that. Uh, you, that you put an extra effort instead of bare minimum and they will return and for example VFX studio uh, companies you got to have a little bit of skills to get in there but if you have a connection with a VFX company you know that does uh, CG movies and stuff like that um, everyone always needs it because everyone always want to have a movie, you know, 
uh, to the TV show or video game release or trailer or so there's always work uh, and they will always return if you do a good job but it requires a lot more uh, professionalism but that you know doesn't hurt anyone Is your day off? Nice. So Cosmoverse, here it is. The cosmic beast. A space alien monster. The beast from Cosmos. It was fun to do. Uh, exciting. Uh, a long, long time ago since I did that monster. Fun to do. I need to do more. Um, anyways, uh, that was that was Friday warm up. So next Friday, feedback Friday. Um, make sure I will I will mention this all week uh, next week. But next Friday we will do feedback Friday. So make sure you post on Discord or have the URL ready in the chat Friday morning, and I will go through and comment on everyone's work. Uh, while I do my sketching for half an hour. Uh, so that's going to be fun to see a little bit of what you've been doing over the week. Uh, it seems you gravitate towards the bony long limbs on most of your creatures. No, it's just it's just a fun uh, shape rhythm. Uh, I, I, I mean whenever i do something from the head without purpose or without reference uh, it tends to be quite animal like anatomy yeah so i guess you're right in that terms in, in in this instance but it's not my only thing hey sketching zombie uh, it's a uh, um, cosmoverse topic today and it was a cosmic beast so i made some sci-fi monster some scary thing. I don't know. Um, the combination of those shapes is always fun with a long, thin, with uh, short and fat. You know, it's a nice, uh, nice thing to do to play with. But then, like I said, I do it usually when I when I just do something from the top of my head, rather than uh, something specific. Yeah. Uh, Casey mod, it is not. Um, I was thinking, uh, Kiwi, I'm all good. Thanks for coming, by the way. Welcome to the end. <laughs> um, Casey mod, no, there will not be a specific Friday um, channel on Discord. It will be you post it in share share your art, but you hashtag FF. So it's clear, you know. But ideally towards um, Friday. <laughs> so we're gonna raid Evan. But as per usual, I'm going to do the outro, and after the outro, I'll take you there. So, um, Kiwi, you're always welcome, and I wish you could be here more often. Um, all right. So, have a great one, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. I might be streaming extra amount over the weekend or today. We'll see. But if not, have a great weekend. On Monday, we will do anatomy studies, quick succession poses. We're going to be grinding anatomy. So, outro, then raid. Toodles, everyone.